as I pre as I prepare myself for my return to the UK. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know. Have to be prepared for the worst. No one knows. One thing I do know, the entire world is going to watch London on October 26th, whether I'm there or not. By the time I come back, stage, PA, everything set up, singers, speakers, everything set up, work with the police, align with the police, demonstrations all got the go ahead. It's happening, okay? Make your plans. It's now or never. What we're about to do on the 26th of October is the biggest show of resistance any government has seen from patriots. They are shitting themselves. From July 27th, we had 100,000 people. Imagine how many people support our cause. If 100,000 people, think about how expensive it is to get to London. They know that. 100,000 bare-faced people. Not like the other side. We're happy to show who we are. Not like the pro-Palestinian mugs covering their face and hiding their face because they're all instigators for the government or they're getting paid by Qatar or Iran. So we're going bare-faced, big smiles, every single one of you. Everyone's smiling, no matter the circumstance. You see if they nick me and remind me into prison. You better turn out, people, yeah? I know what I'm coming back for. I actually think that's a great advertisement for our demonstration. I want to sit in jail if that happens. I don't want to hear about the success of your rally, yeah? I don't want to hear about anger. I don't want to hear about riots. I don't want to hear about fighting the police. You have to be way above that. You have to be way above any instigation from the police. Now, we have to give the police the benefit of the doubt because they've worked well with us on the last demonstrations. You see if anyone steps out of line on our side, put them back in line. That's our duty, our place. If anyone has too much to drink and he's your mate, step him in line. Say, bruv, don't ruin this. Right? Don't ruin it for us. Do how much work's gone into this? Not just this, you're going to see the premiere of our film. Our film's going to humiliate. Do you know what we're going to show? Keir Starmer blames the reason that the British public were rioting and taken to the streets across the country is because they're far right. We're going to show you why they were angry. We're going to show the world why they're angry. We've got a bigger platform now than we've ever had. Do not ruin it for us, please. Yeah. And I hope to God I'm there with you. If I'm not there with you, I'm there with you in spirit. All right. And I want you all to have a great day. And we'll be uploading some videos. I've got lots of friends joining me this week. Lots of friends that you all know. We're putting plans together, people, all right? The film's gonna bang. I'm so happy that I'm a documentary maker. I'm so happy that I can challenge their narrative with well-made professional production, thanks to you. You, you're the people who support me. You're the people who do that for me. You're the people who enable me to hire a team. Our latest asset, Sammy Woodhouse, and she's brilliant, yeah? But we have now a massive team, okay? We have professional editors, professional cameramen, research teams, we make sure everything's right. So please, make sure you're there. Make sure you're there, 26th of October. It's now or never, what excuse do you got? I, went, I was going to football. I was going to football. You wanna send, if you're angry with Keir Starmer locking up pensioners, because that's what they've done. What, what The reason they've done that, the reason they televised everything, the reason they live streamed it all, the reason they gave men two months, two years, three years in jail for shouting, was to scare you, yeah? If you don't turn up, it, they, it worked. You know the biggest message to them, which I can't wait, I can't wait until our numbers have doubled. And Keir Starmer looks out and live streams of what we're doing and thinks, fuck, it didn't work. That's right, Keir, it didn't work. It's not gonna work. Even if you lock me up, it doesn't work. I'll come back out of jail with more credibility than I've got now. With a bigger following than I've got now. You're in a lose-lose situation, right? The future belongs to us, everyone. Look at what's happening across Europe. Trump's gonna win, right? Trump's gonna win, Austrian elections, Gert Wilders, and by the way, Nigel, to Nigel Farage, all these populist leaders in Europe didn't win by being politically correct. You see the people you're throwing under the bus, which is us, yeah? 48% of the public didn't vote. That's us, the working class. You demonize the working class. You're still just like a Tory, right? You need to understand, Nigel Farage's latest voting in the last election was the same as years ago under UKIP. They got the same numbers. They've hit their ceiling. Because And the longer you kick the working class and call them far-right racist fucks, you ain't gonna get past that bracket, right? You're gonna disillusion them, right? 26th October, make sure you're there. We've got some great speakers, man. We've got some great singers. We've got a great performance. We've got a great day. I really, and if you want to say a prayer, I pray that I'm, gonna, I pray I'm there with you, yeah? But either way, I'm coming home. The fight is on. Make sure you're there.